Barnaby Joyce is the Deputy Prime Minister. Uh, thank you for your time. Why wasn't a national emergency declared days ago? Uh, well, the process that we've been going through, the Expenditure Review Committee, uh, even having the Prime Minister there, I think this is all important. Uh, now, obviously, in the future, you can always look back and say, I would have done things differently. But we've got to make sure that uh, as we go through this disaster, that we, we look to the future. And the, it's been declared now. This allows us to get through the bureaucratic process a lot quicker. I, I do yeah, think sorry, at the start... Sorry, sorry um, can, I just, can I just interrupt? Sure. I mean, firstly, do you think people yeah. on the ground really care about whether the Prime Minister's there or not? And, and what you've said so far doesn't really answer why this couldn't have been declared a national emergency. It was obvious, surely, a couple of weeks ago that that's what it was. Well, I know the people on the ground would be incredibly upset. They'd be very angry. They'd be frightened. They'd be uh, very apprehensive about the future. Uh, and a national emergency, the... the one of the biggest parts of it is to get through the bureaucratic process uh, in a more efficient way. Uh, the resources, of course, have been going, going into these areas, but to get through the bureaucratic process as the bureaucratic process becomes more pronounced in what we have to do as we go forward, then I think that it's, it's going to assist us a lot from here. I grant that if people say, well, it should have happened last week, well, uh, if we made that mistake, we made that mistake, and we're sorry for it. But, it, but, the, but it, to get through the, the role of government in a more efficient and expedient way, that process is now in place. But on this question of efficiency, the Royal Commission into the Black Saturday bushfires heard that as a result of what was learned from that disaster, Commonwealth emergency response in future would kick in before a disaster became more severe and that there would be a more coherent, preemptive and expeditious mobilisation of federal resources. And that's not what happened here. We thought, like the payments in Cat A and Cat B, Category A and Category B payments, $1,000 for adults, $400 for children, uh, that has been announced. The process of evacuation assistance by the ADF, uh, that, that was in place, uh, making sure that we, we get issues such as transport corridors open up as quickly as possible, that is in place. Evacuation uh, processes and getting people into hospitals as required in other areas, these processes, it wasn't as if there was no process in place. And in any disaster, we acknowledge that if there are areas where you can do it better in the future, you do. No, nothing is, nothing is, is perfect. There is, the whole purpose of government is to do the best job. And if you have uh, an area where you can be, improve in the future, then that's what you do. You learn from these things. That they're, it's an incredibly um, dynamic and desperate situation and and the, how you deal with it is as, as best you can in the circumstances. The Prime Minister's announced additional disaster relief payments. Residents of Ballina and Byron can't access them and they're in a federal Labor seat, but people in the neighbouring national seat, which takes in Lismore, do get the extra. How do you, how do you figure that? Well, I, I don't think for one second there's some form of parochialism where payments are being withheld from places because of the, you know, the way the electorate votes. I, and I think but, it, but how do you explain frank, it? Uh, it's, well, I, I just... It, I know the, the, the in inference behind that, and it's wrong. We, we, we make sure we look after all Australians in equivalence form. Obviously, Lismore is, from media reports alone, has been an epicentre, not just for the area, but for the nation in its effect. So I, 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 I would not be surprised if there was a, a, an immediate concentration on the city of Lismore because it has been by, seen by not only just the area but by the nation as the epicentre, uh, al almost the, 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 the ugly icon of in, a, in what the flood did. Sure, but of, we all know uh, that... the devastation of this flood. Sure, but we all also know that, say, Ballina was badly affected. If you take the example of Ballina Hospital, which was evacuated, that, that area, because of flooding, it's not covered because it's in the Labor seat. Other parts of Ballina that fall into the National Party right. seat are covered. Well, I just, I just did completely disagree that, that areas are not covered because of the Labor seats. In fact, I find it a really noxious that people would infer that any person would... <laughs> A Labor person would not look after a, a national seat or nationals would not but, look but, after a Labor seat. But we Deputy don't Prime work Minister, like that. There, there, is a, there is a Sorry. track record, of course, of political parties um, giving grants to seats that they want to win or that they hold. So I'm sure you can understand my scepticism in asking the question. 
people, people, people don't die because of grants and people are not homeless because of grants. This is an issue that, rose, that rises way above that. And even on issues such as that, you know, you're going through a grants hub, you're de determining by, you know, by policy. You might say policy is directed towards, towards um, making sure you, you look after certain regional areas, which naturally enough is in national areas. But this has got nothing to do with that. This is about an emergency, and we don't we don't go through and say we will save this person's life, but not that person's life. We don't go to the beach and say we're only going to save the lives of people who we think vote for us. And just the suggestion that we would do something like that is, to be quite frank, it, it's a, it's it's offensive because it's so wrong. You mentioned it's an emergency. How is it that Australia keeps having these epic national disasters? And it is the same story every time. The scale of it's colossal and we don't seem to have improved mitigation and prevention and the response is lacking. Well, mitigation issues, and I have some knowledge of this, having lived in St George where floods uh, were also a, a devastating occurrence, not, not to the violence and size that we saw in Lismore, but floods nonetheless. Mitigation also can turn into a highly politicised issue. If you put in a levy bank, you're going to have the people inside the levy bank and the people outside the levy bank. And you're going to get massive pressure from the people outside the levy bank because not only are they vulnerable to the floods, in fact, it exacerbates the situation because it pushes water into the area. You can have dams upstream. They, they can certainly, a regulated flow, a dam upstream will certainly assist in taking you know, centimetres off the flood and sometimes if you do it properly, um, you know, maybe... Uh, a metre off the flood if you if you have a massive dam and are able to catch the water. But that envir in, on environmental issues, people get very upset with the suggestion about dams. You get, I mean, you get, there are so, so many things you can do, but nothing comes without consequences. And, and that is, uh, you know, the, the ultimately, the, it, it's regulating a river that gives you the best protection. But that really, that can stir up people's uh, environmental uh, vein in, in, in what they say they, they won't accept. Deputy Prime Minister, thanks for your time. You're welcome, Lee. Hi, I'm Lee Sales. Thanks for watching this story. If you'd like to watch more of 7.30's stories, they are on the left of your screen. And tap on the button below to subscribe and get the latest from ABC News.